this episode on Sailing Papau. People don't realise how hard it is to get footage to fish. They get this big camera lens that looks like a huge eye to fish that are used to being predated. Now and show you my go-to meal for cooking up fish. I think it's the best way to cook fish. So we've made a last minute decision to head out of Reef and go to Bait Reef for the night. There's better phone reception there. We actually have nothing at the moment. We don't know what the weather's doing. It's looking really squally and really unsettled. I'll give you a look at this weather. It's getting pretty gloomy out here. With some pretty ominous weather on the horizon, we decided to seek shelter at a more protected reef. All right, Michael, what's doing? Oh, we just got to Bait Reef yesterday. Uh, hit out from the, supposed to be glass off, it was blowing 20 knots southeaster. So we came around here to Bait to get some internet and uh, get out of the weather in the morning. And yeah, it's dropping down now. We're gonna go for a dive, explore Bait. It's a full green zone, but it's supposed to be quite spectacular, so. Yeah, they've got these stepping stones on the western side that are just big bombings that drop into like 20 metres of water. Pretty similar to what we've probably been Basically diving. Basically what we've been diving, but you're week, not allowed to fish on these ones, so it'll be interesting to see the difference. Yep, for And sure. there's whales like just cruising up and down the edge like non-stop. So. I know, if we were there before we would have got seen a dozen whales. I'm sure we'll see them out there again. Hope so. All right. They have to approach us, we can't yeah. <laughs> strategically dive yep. on the bombies. Alright, well I'm going to get ready. And we'll go. In 2017, Category 4 Cyclone Debbie rolled through here destroying a lot of the coral in its path. Despite all the damage, the fish life here is still pretty amazing. These big eye sea brim, aka Mu, are very wary of divers. Often they'll just hover in like a blimp just out of shooting range. They are a highly prized fish amongst spearos, not only for their difficulty to shoot, but their great eating qualities. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty impressed. I've actually never heard of this place really, but I uh, did a bit of reading when we got here and they just talked about some of the dive sites and I I've blown away, like it's really good. If you get the opportunity to come here, it's definitely worth a dive. Um, even a scuba dive would be epic. Like there's massive canyons here, and there's just huge fish that you, you don't see when you're out of the green zones, like big tuskies, massive trout. Just saw a little shark, and just got to swim through some epic cave systems here. They're, they're massive, and it's really, I, I've never seen reef like this, it's really unique, it's really cool.
This place was insane. Everywhere you looked, there was a fish hiding in plain sight. like about these marine parks is that you can get really close to fish that would usually be so hard to get to uh, when you're hunting so you'll see a lot of our footage like the fish are really far away and it's got really good footage that's because when you're hunting out of the marine park fish are hard to get close to but in these marine parks people tend to feed them uh, they're used to, they're not used to being hunted so they're way friendlier they'll come up to you and it makes getting footage of them so much easier. People don't realize how hard it is to get footage of fish and stuff like that. It's just, um, you know, trying to get it this big camera lens that looks like a huge eye to fish that are used to being predated. They, they don't want a bar of it. So you come to these green zones and they're used to it. So you can get close to turtles, you can get close to fish, sharks, whatever. And they don't care. You used to get a shark outside of a great park and they'll swim away most of the time uh, but here they seem to come in and have a look at you probably used to be feeding them stumbled across these giant trevally at what we think was a cleaning station where they come to get their gills and mouth cleaned out by smaller reef fish.
going on, Jess? What's for? What is it? Dinner or lunch? Oh, I don't know. Both. It's probably a late dinner too. Um, I'm just going to cook up some of the Red Emperor that I shot the other day. Um, just a really simple meal, something that is a bit of a staple on this boat and probably in heaps of households. It's just fish wraps. So we always have wraps on board. If not, I can make flatbreads. Um, and usually we have either cabbage and carrot is usually the last thing we run out of. Um, we did go shopping just about a week ago. So we have some lettuce, carrot, shallots, avocado. I'm just going to whip it up now and show you my go-to meal for cooking up fish. I think it's the best way to cook fish. Um, it's just super simple. You can taste the fish and it's just garlic and butter. So anyway, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first step is I just chop the fish up nice and small. I'm going to just put salt, pepper and garlic powder on the fish and that'll be ready to cook. So no flour or anything? No, nah, this is just simple wraps. I'm just going to shallow or just pan fry this. So I just use a bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. And I'm just going to slow heat. Um, cook this fish and then just at the end when I turn the fish I add some fresh garlic and just makes it really yummy and then we put some lemon in at the end and deglaze the pan. How I know when my fish is cooked is just when you start to see that white line start to come through in the fish loses its opacity. So you can see here on this piece, see how it's white around the edges? So this piece uh, is a good indication to me that it's cooked, it's ready to be turned. Um, obviously the smaller bits are gonna be cooking faster. So just keep an eye on the, the smaller bits or the thinner bits. Um, these guys are gonna take longer, they're also not in the heat as much. So this one as well, um, there's a nice white line around the edge. And to, to be honest, I'd rather undercook my fish than overcooking it because once you overcook it, that's it, you've, you've ruined it. <laughs> but yeah, this looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat my first Red Emperor. It just smells so good too. Don't mind my hair, it ends up everywhere. going to put a little bit extra butter and I'm going to put the garlic in now as well and then that way it doesn't cook too much, it doesn't burn too much uh, which I always find garlic does and it loses its flavour so I always put that in the end of my dishes. So I just learnt this recently off Kimmy Swimmy's channel if you don't follow her already definitely worth checking out her channel um, but the lemon juice or any citrus helps to glaze the pan so I've been just chucking this in and then I just pull it over the fish at the end. Absolutely delicious. Mayday on the radio. There's a mayday happening. Mm. Mayday. Garlic is burning. Ooh. We can't hear the other half of it. This always happens. It's meant to be variables today and we've got about 25 knots of wind out there. Standard weather forecasting at the moment. It seems to be shocking. So yummy. Cooked to perfection. You can just, if you're not sure about a fish too, especially Red Emperor or any of these really flaky fish, you can just bend it and it'll just break like that. Dig in. What else you got to put on there? Um, so yeah, you can put anything on this. This is just what was left in our fridge. Um, anything fresh, lettuce, um, I'll probably go spinach, baby spinach, but iceberg lasts heaps longer on a boat. A couple of shallots here. Um, oh dear, it's a serious mayday. And just some carrot, and um, we're all about the sauces on this boat. So, I used to love QP, but I've gotten onto this aioli, which is heaps better. Um, just from Woolies. And this is our latest one, coconut sriracha. It is hot and good. And my absolute favorite is the coconut Baron Bay chili. Mm, so good. So just chuck all that together, salt and pepper, and yeah. Red Emperor wraps. How spoiled is that? 
thoughts, Michael? Mm. <laughs> also hasn't eaten anything all day, so he's pretty hungry. Oh, gross. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Whoopsies. Worst <laughs> restaurant ever. <laughs> Lucky didn't pay for it. Delicious. Pretty, Unbelievable. Pretty good end to a trip. Unreal trip to the reef. The sounder on the tender was just a game changer. Wasn't and now it? we're eating the spoils, so... Yep. Yeah, we've still got a bit of room in the freezer too, mm. for a turn. Can't wait. <laughs> for those of you wondering about that mayday, it actually wasn't a mayday. The garlic wasn't burnt, and the guy on the radio was only out of fuel. Join us next episode as our epic reef window gets extended even longer, and we go chasing some huge craze. This is paradise. That's the only thing on the reef that eats crown of thorn. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support us further, you can sign up on Patreon for ad free early videos, bonus content, and perks. A huge thanks to our current patrons for your ongoing support. You can't really see it that clearly. This way. You can see them squiggling. What they are. Creepy little worm. Yeah, super alien. That is foul. I don't know what they are, but they're gross. That's what I'm sure that's what we would have been swimming in all yeah. day. It's a yuck. It's super creepy. Got two little beady little black eyes, like minuscule, and like thousands of little centipede legs on them. Oh, do they have legs? I don't know, little, or little, some little filaments to swim with. But then how are the little ones with like little leeches climbing out of the container? Michael just scooped some up. Would you jump in right now? No, I reckon they'd just worm their way all over your wetsuit. <laughs> into your ears, yeah, into your yucky bits. Anybody know what they are? Please let us know. They're super creepy. Look at that, look how many there are. Everywhere. Nothing, they're all attracted to their life. Yeah. Let's see if I can take a photo.